So I'm here with Deb Marcourt, who was our keynote speaker this morning at the Midwest Rural Assembly. Um, Deb, why did you title your presentation, Reimagining Place? Um, well, I would say that my the process of writing the book about my s sort of small hometown in the region that I came from was the process of reimagining the place that I was from, because I started out with one idea about the place that I was from, that it was boring and that I needed to leave as soon as possible, which I did. and then I then I always I was haunted by the place and so I tried to understand why I was haunted and, and in order to understand that sort of obsession or sort of haunting of the place obsession with or kind of haunting of it meant that I had to go into places of ambivalence that I that I had toward the place and so in order to sort of enter into those places of ambivalence I had to reimagine the place so I, I knew that it was a place um, where I'd spent, you know, the greater part of my childhood in, you know, doing very, very hard work, hard labor. So I had to go into that question as uncomfortable as it was and say, why did we do that work? And when I started to see why we'd done that work, I began to understand the importance of it. I started to see the benefits of what we accomplished. And so for me, that was an act of reimagination that changed not only my feelings about the place, but to me, changed the place. And I think a book when you write about a thing, you have the potential to actually reimagine it for other people. And so I, I hope that my book does that, you know, for other people who read it. Not necessarily that they would reimagine the place that I grew up, but that they might reimagine where they grew up. So I think it, reimagination is a creative process. Um, and, and so, you know, as a, as a, as a creative artist, seems to me it's a nat it's a natural part of our process. You could probably say that every time you write about something, you're reimagining it, you know? It was interesting. You also mentioned a little bit about artists in, in places and how important they are in reimagining. Um, what, what role do you think they play in helping a community reimagine? What can you well, I think that artists are problem solvers. I mean, anytime you make a piece of art, you go through a process of coming up against obstacles, and it, it could be um, a, a barrier of language, it could be a barrier of knowledge, it could be a technique issue, it could be um, a resources issue that you don't have the materials that you need. And so what you have to do in order to persevere and, and accomplish anything as an artist is solve problems. You're constantly solving problems. So it's, it's sort of like it builds up your problem-solving skills. And so I think that as a society, I mean, this has been my observation. I don't think that our artists are drawn on enough to bring these considerable problem-solving skills, you know, to the table when issues are being dis discussed among org organizations or in bureaucracies. This sort of the feeling in the culture is that artists are the fluff of the society, and art is the place we go to when you know we have a little bit of free time or we have a little bit of extra money. But my philosophy of art is that it's, you know, it's in, in, integral to the society, that there should be an artist, like every, every other door that you knocked on in a community, there should be a photographer or a dancer or a painter or a writer or a musician. And they, may, they might not be people who make their living doing it, but they're people who practice it seriously and that they will, you know, they'll bring their perspective and also the joy of the work that they do to the community. And we know that um, arts helps helps a community in terms of um, development, economic development. The people flock to places where there are arts centers, um, where there are galleries, where there are you know places they can buy um, pottery, sculpture, where they can buy paintings, where they can see music. And so, it just stands to reason that artists should be at the table when questions of community are are being raised, when problems are you know are being solved.